for the hardest hitting show in talk radio. The true progressive voice since 2012. This is South Paws. Welcome to South Paws on the Pacifica Radio Network. We are the leaders of the revolution. My name is Darren Gibson, and I'm your co-host. My name is Jack Prince, your fellow co-host. Well, Jack, we've got quite a bit to talk about today. We're actually going to change things up just a little bit. We're going to start out our show with Hammer Time, which is a rarity. We hardly ever start the show with that segment, but... It's necessary because we got a lot of them. A record four awards this week. We'll get to that right after we tell you how you can follow us on social media. All you got to do is go to facebook.com forward slash South Pause Radio Show, or you can follow us on Twitter at South Pause Radio. If you would like to become a patron of the show, you may go to patreon.com forward slash South Pause Radio, and we would accept any kind of help you can give us there you can always listen to the show anytime you like at spreaker.com do a search for south pause there or at the itunes store do a search under podcast for south pause and once you found our logo you found us links to all of our shows are sent to our facebook page our twitter account and to our youtube pages so if you go to youtube.com and search for south pause radio you'll find us there as well and of course we're on great Pacifica radio stations across the country, including KCEI-FM in Taos, New Mexico, KZGM, Kabul, Missouri, and at Global Community Radio Channel 1. We're on every Monday night at 9 p.m. We're on right after Democracy Now! Make sure you check us out there. All right, we might as well just get right into it, but in order to do so, we need the appropriate music. Stop. Have a time. Oh, yeah, it's hammer time. And a record of four awards. It's time to drop the hammer on the douchebag of the week. And we've got two group awards this week and two individuals. And we're just going to go ahead and start out with our group awards. And the first winner this week is a previous winner. We just talked about them right before the end of the year. We talked about One Million Moms which is a branch of the American Family Association. First, they were mad at the Hallmark Channel because they accepted television ads from a wedding vendor app and website that featured same-sex couples. That's what got them mad in the first place. Now they're really hot at Burger King, of all places. They're mad at Burger King. What did they do? They put an ad on TV for the Impossible Whopper. I got this. This is from, and this is another rarity. We hardly ever use Fox Propaganda Channel as a source for anything on this show because they are not news. They were never meant to be news. They were meant to be GOP TV, which Roger Ailes pitched to Richard Nixon in the late 60s, and Nixon said it wouldn't work. Darren, Nixon it's kind of like radiation from an x-ray. You can take a little bit there's a certain amount your body can endure so go ahead mm -hmm. and play them yeah this is uh garen keith gainer writing for fox propaganda the conservative group one million moms is accusing burger king of crossing the line <laughs> over an impossible whopper commercial that uses the d word what's the d word damn that's you've it got, folks you've got a debaucherous white house lying sack of absolute sick narcissist leadership insulting mm -hmm. cripples women attacking weak people lying and you're worried about the damn the word damn the word damn yep in the ad they do one of these man on the street interview things i'm sure you've seen these before where they say oh here's a whopper why don't you try this and then they pull the wrapper back and it's actually an impossible whopper and one guy said damn that's good <laughs> oh we're going to hell now 
Here's what the group issued in a statement. Quote, one million moms finds this highly inappropriate. When responding to the taste test, he didn't have to curse. Or if, in fact, it was a real and unscripted interview in which the man was not an actor, then Burger King could have simply chosen to edit the profanity out of the The commercial. End of quote. The group, by the way, also called the ad irresponsible and tasteless, continuing, quote, it is extremely destructive and damaging to impressionable children viewing the commercial. We all know children repeat what they hear, end of quote. <laughs> well, we told you about the conservatives' warning at Copac, you know, that the hamburger was being taken away, the pickup truck, the hamburger, yeah, some and they're doing it with the word damn. You know what? These hypocrites, and yes, I have fought these holes for 30 years I'm calling them what they are. They are hypocrites. They have tried to shut down the strip club industry in Michigan. I have fought them at every turn for 30 years. Now, that, I know what I'm talking about. Is that the group before they change your name to Million Moms? Yeah. They're they're the same group. This yeah. is a branch. By okay. the way, there's only about 5,000 of these 1 million moms. Yeah, right. Ugh. So but, who's the resident goddess? Uh, Phyllis Shafley? Who do they I have no the idea who, if they even have one. But here's what I'm calling them a hypocrite for. You're so offended at the word damn. When you support the orange sack of crap in the White House who talks about Nancy Odell's tits, says, you can grab them by the p- and you're offended at this? Well, the thing is, they have to be offended because, see, righteous people have to find something to be aghast at, Darren, mm-hmm. to prove just how righteous they are. Now, the disparity you're talking about, look, looking at a man who is uh, an announced abuser of women, mm-hmm. is that you can be choosy, you see, if you're a fundamentalist, no, you have the divine right to allow mm-hmm. Trump for his perversions and his uh, his lying because he's the king of Cyrus. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. King of Cyrus, there is a Enlighten group out that was just this last week, came out and said, we have to defend and protect Trump. He's the King Cyrus of the Old Testament. King, <laughs> sing, no, 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 no. No, they're dead serious. We're talk- I know they're dead serious. They're mentally ill. We're, we're talking, uh, is it Pompeo? Yeah. Yeah. Because, see, Cyrus was a corrupt king, mm-hmm. but he was used. He was used by God to save Israel. Mm-hmm. And I'm no expert on the Old Testament. I do recognize that numerous times, everything from a jackass to King Cyrus, God used in some way. I'm saying God as if there was one, Okay. If you Which take the book on its literary value, the God of the Old Testament many times used objects and people that would have seemed to be anything but but holy. So mm-hmm. the justification they can get. In other words, what they're admitting is he's a bum. Mm-hmm. He's rotten through and through, but he's God's bum. He's being used. <laughs> he's and so, God's bum. <laughs> so you have to ignore. I mean, I, no, I'm not making this up. I, I know you're I, not making this up. You That's have why to ignore the the 12,000 lies he's told, the promises he's broken, the temper tantrums he's thrown, yeah. the gross and decent pig that he is means nothing because he's God's instrument. Jack, it's the is epitome. That what, is that what they mean in the Bible by turning the other cheek? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry. Yeah, I, it's, it's turning the other cheek in denial, in stupidity, but with righteous indignation. And so when you rail against him, they point to the usage of God to these, these people, and mm-hmm. that's their credit card. Their life is like that. They go out, they raise hell, they do anything they want. They go take the bloodbath every Saturday, right, or mm-hmm. Sunday, mm-hmm. and they walk out clean as a whistle, and they can do it over and over again. Yeah. Free well. car wash. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> oh, I there, used to be, there used to be a car wash around here before they got bought out. They'd give you little coupons. If you got 10 washes, your next one was free. I wonder if they'll do that in church. (laughs) 10 tithings, your 11th is free. (laughs) Absolve yourself of your sins. You can use it infinitely, see. 
You know, you could theorize that a religion that makes a person be good, because supposedly God is good, right? Yeah. And he wants you to be good, could have some value. Yeah, but But that's not case, what we're talking about. Yeah. We're talking about people walking around saying, oh, I'm terrible. I'm the worst sinner, but I'm the biggest sinner. But I just wash myself out in God's grace yeah. with his blood. Imagine, it's oh, a yeah. bloodbath. We get the term bloodbath. They take it. They start over again. Oh, yeah. I tell you what. If they're offended by the word damn, then they're really going to be offended by what I have to say to them. One million moms, f*** you. There well, you one go. One million moms just got a, a greeting from Southpaws. I, I guess you have to realize that that's an exaggeration. There's not a million moms. There's some idologues. There's some biased, long-nosed hypocrites that want you think there's a, a million of them. Yeah, there's only 5,000 documented. All right, let's go on to group award number two for Douchebag of the Week, and that is the members of a now shut-down Facebook group called People versus Governor Gretchen Whitmer. These are a bunch of people that don't like Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, and they joined this Facebook group, and I believe they had... Close to 9,000 people in the group at one point. Steve Neveling at Detroit Metro Times blew the lid off of this. And this was getting into terrorism threats at points in this group. Kind of like Virginia. Yeah, we'll talk about, about which we'll talk about um, uh, much later because we've got all this here. Listen to the people that were members of this group. Current elected officials, not just on the state level, but at the local and county levels, veterans, firefighters, law enforcement officers, educators, pastors, business owners, political candidates, militia members, blue-collar workers, and, as the Detroit Metro Times describes it, your garden variety trolls. They have apparently, the Detroit Metro Times, meaning they, have identified dozens of posts that were threatening violence against Governor Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan, U.S. Representative Rashida Tlaib, and Representative Alyssa Slotkin. They also threatened American Muslims and the city of Dearborn. I mean, they were just really going after Tlaib. Here's some of the uh, comments that were wrote. And by the way, they named the names of the people who posted these things according to detroit metro times spencer hayward wrote quote she needs a bullet between her eyes end of quote carl wilhelm senior posted quote how many teeth you figure you can knock out with one swipe with a baseball bat end of quote mike nixon suggested quote set that bitch on fire end of quote and it goes on and it gets worse and worse and much worse this is the world trump has brought you Yes. By the way, the guy who created this page, his name is Charlie Gillette, admitted to the Detroit Metro Times that the group lost its way. He said the group has spun out of control. That's a direct quote. He shut the page down to avoid repercussions at his job as a machine tool electrician in Sterling Heights. Yeah, this redneck down in Sterling Heights. Uh, yeah. He, I heard him live. I heard him interviewed. Mm-hmm. He said something to the fact that he never anticipated it would get out of control. It was out of control when it was started. Yeah. The, this was an absolute guaranteed result. Yeah. This is what they really revel at. Only if he had any pressure, any exposure going on right now, would yeah. he have done anything about it. He, he, he would have used it and prompted it right to the point of violence. And then he added a co-administrator who the Detroit Metro Times identified as a Joshua Doan. Doan says that he was recruited by Gillette to help launch the page, and he regrets getting involved. He said he was not monitoring the page closely because his primary role was to get the page started. So apparently he was asked by this Charlie Gillette, please start this page for me. I don't know how to do it. What do you think you're going to get when you open the gate, when you open the corral to these bunch of idiots? What do you think is going to be the end result? I mean, honestly... Those comments there, Mm -hmm. they're stock, guaranteed, pinhead remarks from haters of not just Democrats, Mm -hmm. but women, 
particularly Democrat women in office.